everybody, Joe Patty here, and I want to say Thanksgiving is over and we are moving on to Christmas. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm doing today, my little project, is I started off this first by making a coaster with just a thin coaster with some sparkles. And what I'm going to do next is put one of these Christmas tree stickers on here. I'm going to use some glue that I have. And I'm going to apply the sticker with this glue. I got this uh, crafter's pick, the glue that sticks, the ultimate, the only non-toxic water-based super glue adheres to metals, plastic, glass, and more. So, and it dries clear. So I'm going to try that with my sticker. Now, I'll tell you what I do like is I like the big tree, but the thing is the, the trunk kind of sticks out just a little bit. And I could cut that. Let me get my scissors. And I'm going to cut the trunk off a little bit of this sticker here. Because we don't really need a big trunk. I also have these uh, Savorsky crystals in red. So on the second layer, what I'd like to do is after I get the tree down and it dries, what I want to do next is try and put place some of the red crystals on there to look like red Christmas lights. And then put another thin coat of resin on it. And let's just see how it turns out, everybody. Hey everybody, here's what I did. In between stuff that I don't put on camera because it takes too long. And I don't want this video to be really long. So what I did was I cleaned up the area with the rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And then I actually ran it under cold water with a little bit of Dawn soap to make sure I got some of the sticky out from the glue. Then I took these tools here. I have my little dotting tools. And I have different sizes to the dotting tools. I use them for stars too. And I dipped them in some white paint that I had over here. And I gave myself some snow and some fluffy snow down the bottom. Then what I did after that is I took this right here. I have some extra fine glitter and I just sprinkled it on top a little bit and then blew it off the excess with the blow dryer on cool just to get it so it wouldn't be all over the place. And I still wanted the white to show through so I went back with my dotting tool and added a little more white along the edge. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to put this Warsky crystals on but that's going to be time consuming and I don't want that on camera. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have to take the dotting tool, the one with the smallest little dot on the bottom, and put one dot of glue each on the back of these crystals. And then place them in place with my little tweezers here all over there. And then let that dry. And then I'll be back for the top coat. All right, everybody. I mixed up two tablespoons of resin. I'm going to pour it on top of my little tree here. I did put uh, a splash of these little extra fine glitters in there. There's no label on there. I don't even remember where I bought this from, but it's got a little green in there, a little pink in there. This mixed up very little because I kind of wanted it more clear. And then we'll pour it on here and see what happens, everybody. I'm using my Easy Cast resin tonight. It's two minutes to mix. Pour it in another cup and another minute to mix. It has a very short pot time also. So here we go. Lots of bubbles in here. All right, here we go, everybody. Another form of a liquid pouring. <laughs> Having another dreary, rainy day in November. I swear, I think I start, I stopped counting. The sun hasn't been out in 11 days, and then I just stopped counting. <laughs> I think this is where, what they talk about, uh, I think this is when everybody talks about that seasonal depression. I think it's because of that. If you don't have any sunshine, and it's the holiday season too, it's like, geez louise, everybody. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to just mix that around in here. Give it a little twirl swirl. Give it the old pancake batter. 
popping those bubbles, getting them to come forward to the top. See what I got going on in there. And I did put uh, a couple more other crystals on there. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I'm not sure if that top crystal is going to be covered. I might have to mix up some more resin. But we'll see once this dries, or I'll check on it in an hour or so. I think it could use a little bit more resin. I don't necessarily need it to dome, but I do want to make sure I've covered that top diamond over there. And I can see that it's sticking out, so I'm going to have to mix some more up real quick. And uh, let's pop those bubbles first. I'm going to have to mix up some more resin since I had that short pot time. And go ahead and get a little more on top of there, everybody. All right, everyone. We're going to let that sit. And then we're going to unmold. See you in a minute. Everybody, it's been overnight. The sun mold is. I cleaned up the area a little bit before I went to bed. And I'm glad I'd put that extra top coat on there to cover up that top little button there. So, all right. This one. Oh, I think it's pretty. You know what? Upon further review, I wish I would have used my um, fabric paint. I've got some 3D fabric paint, and I thought that that might look good right there on the um, snow part. Isn't that weird how um, the crystals look flat? Even when I look at it from the side, there's like no dimension to them, you know, from the uh, resin well, it's nice. There's no bubbles in here or anything. It turned out really pretty. And the thickness to me is just right. I, I like this kind of thickness. I don't like them too thick like some of my coffee bean ones. All right, everybody. Well, happy holidays. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to make a couple more of those and maybe a snowflake one this week. All right. On that note, everybody, here's your meditation thought for today. Sometimes, in not knowing ourselves fully, we rely on the opinions of others who may not even know themselves. So don't worry about it, everybody. Grab your glue gun and your glitters, and don't forget your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way, any way you want. See you again soon, back in the studio. Arrivederci. Okay, everybody. Um... I have been getting some emails and stuff of you guys asking me when I'm going to tell my story of what happened 30 years ago. Um, and I will be telling that story this week. So stay tuned. It's coming up. <laughs>